Are we in a tech bubble? It's the question that won't seem to go away. So we're asking speakers and attendees at the Code Conference this week what they think. Hunter, one of the questions that people have been asking a lot this year is, are we in a tech bubble? Uh, I, you know, I don't think we're in a tech bubble. Uh, tech is no longer a vertical, it's, it's a horizontal. The economy is technology. So are there going to be business cycles that impact tech? Of course. It's been a relatively good place in the business cycle the last few years. When you think about bubbles, though, I do think what heats up uh, are particular segments of tech. So, right, uh, maybe you could make the case that over the last year, uh, as people all moved into the on-demand space, that we're still figuring out what the right valuations look there. Uh, or maybe post Snapchat uh, funding or WhatsApp uh, being sold, you start to see multiples on chat and communication apps get a premium in the marketplace. So um, those tend to work themselves out pretty quickly. I just think the exposure to tech more broadly is the fact that we're such a large part of the economy that we're going to move with business cycles in general. I personally don't think we are in a bubble. I think what we're seeing is innovation coming from other places. Like a lot of the waves of you know new technology are now you know originating from places like China and yeah. even India. Jame is a very good example, obviously. So I think maybe maybe Silicon Valley's role in the world is a little bit less significant, only because there's so much more happening. Mm. Um, Maybe people think that of that as a bubble. I certainly don't. I think the world as a whole is is growing and tech is bigger than ever. Okay. Thanks for chatting with me. I don't think we're in a tech bubble in a sense of the value of technology being capped or overinflated. I think the value of technology in our lives and in the world is going to keep increasing substantially beyond its current point. I think we're a bit of an investor bubble where people who don't have deep insights into high tech investing are either piling on very early and taking options on pretty much anything that moves with angel investments or getting very, very aggressively behind sort of uh, emerging leaders leading to somewhat interesting price competition, but that's more of an investor-led behavior and then needing to justify uh, how they manage money for limited partners as opposed to a problem with technology itself, which will only become bigger and more valuable. Well, it feels like we've been in a bit of a technology bubble since the beginning of computers, and it hasn't slowed down yet. We've had little bumps along the way, but with the advent of mobile and the internet, it seems to be accelerating. Uh, now you're going to have virtual reality, augmented reality, which is going to be able to allow us to teleport anywhere and go anywhere. I don't necessarily see this slowing, but again, I'm not uh, an analyst, so. It seems like the big valuations are at least based in part on revenue. so. You know, I, I think there's, I, I think things are overinflated to a degree, uh, but the real businesses that have real revenue, it's hard to see them going away.